everyone, it's Krithika. Welcome back to my channel. I'm in Rome in Italy right now and today has been quite a rainy morning but the plan for today is that we are heading to Vatican City. So I'm traveling with a couple of my friends. Here's Atul and Christina who are not looking very enthusiastic on camera. But anyway, right now we're just walking up to Vatican City. It's kind of like a 10-15 minute walk I think from our hotel. So yeah, thankfully it stopped raining. So let's go explore the Vatican City. Appalachian sunrise meets my skin. Even with my eyes still closed. So this is Rome, and right over here behind that wall is the Vatican City. Golden, I'll follow only golden. to Vatican City it was quite a short walk and this is the St. Peter's Square so we're right now standing in line to go inside St. Peter's Basilica it's quite a long line so a few fun facts about Vatican City in case you didn't know Vatican City is the smallest country in the world the population here is I think 825 people and of course this is where the Pope lives so it's kind of cool that today we just walked from Italy to another country the Vatican City but this place has so much culture and history we will be exploring a bunch of museums here as well so the entrance to St. Peter's Basilica is free uh, but you just have to stand in line to get in but the museums here do have an entrance fee so if you're traveling here I would recommend booking it a bit in advance we only booked last evening so we got a slot for 1 p.m. but yeah we're just gonna check out the church first and then explore the rest of the Vatican Mount Laurel high fives for miles in spring rainbow trout and hummingbird so we've made it inside and the line wasn't actually that long it took like 15 20 minutes but usually i've heard it's very crowded so sometimes apparently it takes over an hour as well but yeah we're just walking inside saint peter's basilica now This church is so breathtaking. It's probably the biggest church I've ever been to and apparently the capacity here is 60,000 people. Uh, so you can imagine how massive it is. I think if you're here you do need an audio guide because there's so much history and of course this looks beautiful but with the story and all the history it makes so much more sense. This was absolutely breathtaking. I think you can easily spend a couple of hours in there and it was probably one of the most beautiful churches I've been to. Uh, and yeah, just so much history. It's like such an old building. Everything here is just like so old. So there's like a lot of interesting history to this place. But anyway, uh, our entry to the museum is only at 1 p.m. It's 12 right now. So I think we're just gonna be walking around the square. There's a life I lead in this city Hurry and to cup my tea I can take what I need to get by It doesn't make it easy So we've picked up some sandwiches for ourselves for lunch and we're just walking up to the Vatican Museum now <laughs> Good, it's good Will you carry me like I am holy? Wait, hold on, put me together, take me back where I've been. 
belong. So we're inside the Vatican Museum now and this is supposed to be one of the best museums in the world so I'm very excited to check it out. So like I mentioned we only booked tickets last night which was kind of last minute. So normally tickets are for like 17 euros I think but because we booked last minute uh, they were slightly more expensive for 21 euros and also like they have uh, specific time slots when you can enter and you can only enter at those times. So definitely book in advance if you're uh, planning a trip here. We only got like a 1pm slot so we took it but if you book a day or two in advance I think you should be fine. So this museum is quite massive and I think it's easily going to take us a few hours here to like explore this whole thing. I've got my Rick Steves audio guide on so let's go explore this museum. The glories of the ancient world displayed in a lavish papal palace decorated by the likes of Michelangelo and Raphael. That's the winning formula for that treasure chest of sights called the Vatican Museums. So the Vatican Museum has one of the world's greatest art collections. In fact, if you were to stop and look at each painting just for one minute, it would take you four whole years to check out all the art here. If I could take you back to my youth And show you what I wish I knew My will is strong with a place to lean In the moment I hung best belief The other ring of my wrist is gold Bearing with the light it holds When I return from my spinning ball I'm remembering the words you told me Wait, hold on Put me together Take me back where I belong I want it all So this here is the gallery of maps and on the wall here are maps from the 1500s like maps of Italy, what it looked like back then. So these paintings you see here, they look like they're 3D but they're apparently painted on a flat surface. I had a feeling but the feeling is all gone. Wait, hold on, put me together, take me back where I belong. Paintings are by Raphael, and this one in particular is quite famous. So that's Plato, that's uh, Aristotle, I think that's Socrates, Pythagoras, and Euclid. I had a feeling, but the feeling is all gone. done with the museum and my mind is blown. This was beyond amazing. So towards the end of the museum uh, you get to go inside Sistine Chapel which is the chapel where the Pope normally gets elected and unfortunately wasn't allowed to film there but yeah because of the audio guide it was just so impressed. <laughs> yeah they no kept saying. Photo, no video. <laughs> That's what they kept saying at Sistine Chapel. But yeah, it was just beyond impressive. Uh, it's covered with Michelangelo's frescoes and because of the audio guide, obviously we understood everything better and yeah, totally worth visiting. Absolutely loved it there. Also, if you know that painting of like God and human touching fingers, <laughs> not doing a good job of explaining. I'll put a picture of that painting here. Uh, that's also part of the Sistine Chapel. So got to see that. Christina, what did you think of the Vatican City? nice with if you have an audio guide yeah if you have an audio guide i think that makes a huge difference and you atul it was actually atul's second time at the vatican how was it atul, atul. <laughs> so casual so yeah we're just figuring out what to do next now uh, the time is 4 pm and it has stopped raining the weather is kind of nice so uh, we're seeing what else we can do today Up some pizza for myself. So 
this behind me are the famous Spanish steps and back in the day apparently this is where uh, everyone came to people watch. fountain which you see behind me this is one of like the most popular spots in Rome and back in the day this used to be I think one of the oldest sources of water in the city so anyway let's go up close and see what it's like I could take you back to my youth and show you what I wish I knew. So for dinner we've come to this neighborhood called Tresta Ware and uh, it's this really cute neighborhood with like old buildings, lots of nice eating joints. This is where we want to eat but looks like it's quite packed and there's some waiting so let's see if we get a table. The other ring of my wrist is gold, pairing with the light it holds. When I return from my spinning ball. So we're having dinner at this restaurant called Nonarella. Uh, Atul discovered this restaurant for us and it got really good ratings. We had to wait outside for like half an hour to get a table. Uh, but got ourselves some bread so far, some wine. I think they've run out of wine glasses so we've got this. And I've ordered some pasta for myself. Excited about all the seafood. Wait. Take me back where I belong. I want it all. I had a feeling, but the feeling. So, my pasta is looking amazing. Let's try it out. Hold on. This pasta is so good. Loving it.